In this video, I'm looking at 11 of the best free DAWs available in 2021 on Windows 10. And I'll also let you know my top three picks near the end of this video, so be sure to stick around for that. I'm Zane, welcome to Audio Tech TV, where it's my goal to help you conquer the tech so you can unleash your creativity by providing easy to follow audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews. I've included links down in the description to all of the free DAWs mentioned in this video, but right now let's jump in. And first on the list of best free DAWs of 2021 is Traction Waveform Free. This free digital audio workstation is completely unlimited, so you can have unlimited audio, MIDI, and auxiliary tracks, or as many as your computer can handle anyway, and I've noticed that Traction Waveform doesn't use a lot of system resources. I actually did a series on recording a song with a cheap audio interface on an older laptop where I used Waveform, and it performed really well on that older laptop. I was able to have a ton of plugins open in my project with a lot of tracks. Waveform Free includes some useful effects plugins plus a couple of decent instruments in the Micro Drum Sampler and the 4 OSC Synth, and if you need to add third-party plugins, you can do that too. The differences between the Pro version and the Free version are the Pro version includes some more instruments and plugins, and there are a couple of advanced features that aren't necessary for making music but they do help to make things easier. But not having those features isn't limiting in any way. You can get Traction Waveform free on Windows, Mac, Linux, and even Raspberry Pi. Next on the list is Avid Pro Tools First. This is the free version of the very popular Pro Tools DAW that's been used in Pro Studios for years. The free Pro Tools First program does have some limitations. You can only have a maximum of 16 tracks in your projects, and this can be any combination of audio, MIDI, or auxiliary tracks. 16 tracks is still very usable though, so that's not too big of a limitation. Another limitation is that you can't add third-party plugins unless you purchase them through the Avid Marketplace. So even if you own plugins that you purchased from somewhere else, you can't use those in here. Having said that, I've noticed that some plugins are showing up in my version of Pro Tools first, so it's a quirky limitation that may not be a limitation if your plugins do actually show up in it. Now, what Pro Tools First does have going for it is that it gives you the same sort of user interface and workflow that the pros use. So if working in a pro studio is something that you're striving for, then learning on this software can be a big advantage to you. You also get the Air Expand 2 instrument, which is huge and it has a lot of great sounds in it. Plus, the plugins that Pro Tools First comes with are very usable. You can get Pro Tools First on Mac and Windows. Up next is a fairly new DAW that's really geared towards beat makers. This is Akai MPC Beats. This one gives you a workflow that's similar to working on an MPC, but with the added benefit that it's in the software world, so editing can be a little easier. If you have a MIDI controller with pads on it, this can be a great DAW for you as it integrates with pads very easily. As you can see, you have your pads on the screen, but you can also just create beats with your mouse by drawing them in onto the piano roll, or you can use your MIDI keyboard to play the notes on the keys. MPC Beats is pretty easy to use. If you want to record audio into it, you can do that too, but you only get two audio tracks per project. And speaking of tracks, you can only have eight instrument tracks in a project, so that's a total of 10 tracks altogether, which can be quite a few for beat creation in the beginning, but you may find you need more later on. Once you get used to the workflow, it's very quick to start making music in MPC Beats. It includes some kits and synths, but you can also bring your third-party VST instruments into it too. Plus, MPC Beats includes over 80 quality effects plugins, and just like with instruments, you can also bring in your own VST effects. Like I said earlier, this one's fairly new, but I can really see this taking off in the future as it's an incredible DAW for beat creators, and I'm sure it's going to continue to get better as they continue to develop it. You can get MPC Beats on Windows and Mac. All right, before I get to the next free DAW on the list, I just want to ask if you're enjoying this video so far, getting some value out of it, can you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps my channel out, and I appreciate it so much. 
Now, next on the list of best free DAWs of 2021 is Audacity. This one is a fairly simple program that's been around for years. You can record audio into it, arrange your recordings in a multi-track setup, edit the audio levels, and add effects, but you can't use MIDI in Audacity. So if you're wanting to use VST instruments, then you're going to need to look elsewhere. It's a very lightweight program, and it's great for audio editing. A lot of people have used this as their main DAW for a long time, and if you want a simple program that's easy to use but lacks some of the more pro features, then Audacity might be for you. It's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Next on the list is Cakewalk by BandLab. This one is pro software that used to be a paid-for DAW, but it was taken over by the company BandLab, and they've decided to give it away for free. I'm unsure how they actually make money with this or if they even need to make money. They don't spam your email account or anything like that. And there's nothing to upsell you on as of right now anyway. But with Cakewalk by BandLab, you get a completely unlimited DAW that comes complete with instruments and effects, including a very nice guitar amp simulator called TH3. Plus, you can also bring in your own third-party effects and instruments too. Cakewalk has a similar interface to a Pro Tools style of DAW. And you can also customize the interface if you like. And because it's a pro DAW, it's full of pro features. Cakewalk by BandLab is Windows only. The next free DAW on the list is Presonus Studio One Prime. Studio One Prime is the free version of Studio One, which is quickly becoming a favorite DAW for many studios and music producers. It has a sleek user interface and it has a very quick workflow. Presonus Studio One Prime includes a nice selection of effects, including the Empire Guitar Amp Sim, plus you also get the Presence XT Synthesizer plugin that's capable of tons of great sounds. In Studio One Prime, you can have unlimited tracks, but the biggest limitation is that you can't add third-party plugins, so you can only use the included plugins, which are decent, but you may want to add more eventually. There's also two gigabytes of loops and samples that are included with it. Studio One is an awesome DAW. The free version is very capable of helping you create music, and it gives you a nice upgrade path if you need it. You can get Persona Studio One Prime on Windows and Mac. Next up on the list is Magic's Music Maker Free. This free digital audio workstation is fairly easy to get started with. It includes some great virtual instruments and effects, which includes a decent guitar amp simulator called Vandal SE. You also get a sound pool, which is like a big loop pack that includes loops that work very well together. You can record and edit MIDI, plus you can record and edit audio, but you have an eight track limitation and you can't add any third party plugins to Magic's Music Maker Free. For beginners, it's a great DAW, and if you decide to upgrade to the highest version, it's fairly budget-friendly, and it includes a ton of extra instruments and sounds. One thing to keep in mind is that any music that you create using those sound pools, you can't monetize. You're free to post your music online everywhere, but you aren't allowed to sell it unless you purchase a commercial license for the sound pool that you use. Typically, that license is around $12, but if you're just using the included instruments and also you're recording anything into it, you're free to sell your music, as long as you're not using anything from those sound pools. Magic's Music Maker Free is only available on Windows systems. All right, we've gone through quite a few free DAWs so far, and I still have more on the way. Plus, I also have my top three picks and some advice coming up. But I want to ask you to let me know down in the comments which of these DAWs you decide to go with. Now, the next free digital audio workstation on the list is SoundBridge. This free DAW is another one that's completely unlimited. So you can have unlimited tracks and also add your own third party VST plugins. It does include some decent effects and probably the best free drum machine plugin out there. The user interface makes this one very easy to create music from easy access to the piano roll, mixer, and recording features. And this one is also available in 32-bit or 64-bit options. So if you're looking for a 32-bit DAW, SoundBridge might be the choice for you. You can get it on Windows and Mac. 
This next free DAW on the list is a very interesting one as it can be used on pretty much any operating system and mobile device, including Chromebooks. This is BandLab. BandLab is a browser-based DAW, but there are some apps available on iOS and Android to make the performance a little better on those devices. This records to the cloud, but you get unlimited free cloud storage, so you don't have to worry about that. You can record audio into it, and they also give you some decent instruments and effects too. Plus you have access to BandLab Sounds, which is a huge library of royalty-free loops and samples, and you can use an unlimited amount of those. As of right now, I don't think there's a way to use third-party plugins in the web-based BandLab DAW, but who knows, that could come later on, and with everything that they give you, you may not need it. They also offer unlimited free mastering service, and you can also release your music for sale and keep 100% of the royalties. These guys are serious about helping musicians, and this DAW is great for beginners. It's easy to use, and you don't really need to worry about how powerful your computer is. And like I said earlier, this DAW is available on pretty much any operating system that can access the internet. This next free DAW on the list is limited, but it's very easy to use, and the drum rack plugin that's included with it is extremely nice. This is Moolab 8 Free. This is a free version of the powerful Moolab 8 DAW. Basically, this is a track limited version of the full DAW. In my opinion, they've limited it a little too much as you can only have five tracks. You can definitely create a decent foundation for a beat in Moolab 8 Free, but for a complete song, it might be a little too limited. So let's look at some of the highlights of Moolab 8, and then I'll look at some of the restrictions. First off, it's an extremely lightweight DAW. It's under 100 megabytes, plus you don't even need to install it. You just unzip the folder and run it from there. So this isn't going to add any bloatware to your computer. Another highlight is the Moodrum plugin, which is the drum rack that I talked about earlier. This is an excellent drum sampler plugin, it even includes some decent kits to get you started. Plus it has some cool routing features and it also allows you to really sculpt your drum sound. You also get some other great instrument presets too, plus effects. The piano roll is super easy to work with along with recording audio. This is a simple DAW that's capable of creating some great music as long as you can keep within the five track limit. Or you can upgrade to the full DAW and I think it's around $80 now. Now the limitations of Moolab 8 Free are there's a maximum of five tracks, like I said, and you can't add any third-party VST plugins. There's also no rewire or multi-core support. There's some other limitations in there as well, but Moolab 8 really is a great DAW, and I hope you'll check it out and give it a try. Maybe even support them by purchasing a license. All right, now this next free DAW is more like an honorable mention as it technically isn't free, but you can use it free forever. This is Reaper. Reaper is an extremely powerful digital audio workstation that comes with tons of effects, but no instruments. However, you can add your own third-party instruments and plugins. You get unlimited tracks, an easy-to-use interface that's customizable to suit your needs, and like I said earlier, it's technically not free, but you can download the trial and once the trial runs out, you can continue using it fully unlocked. There's just a five second screen that pops up every time you open it and it reminds you to purchase a license, which is only $60 and it's well worth it if you can afford it. So if you do decide to go with Reaper and you enjoy it, then purchase a license and help support their continued efforts in making Reaper an incredible and affordable DAW. You can get Reaper in both 32 and 64 bit options, and it's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. All right, so I told you I'd give you my top three picks out of these, but before I do that, I just wanna give you a little bit of advice for when you do make your decision or before you make your decision. And the first piece of advice is download two or three of these programs. 
and give them a good try. If you're going to be using them for beat creation, try making a beat in each one of them. If you're going to be making rock music, try to create a little bit of a rhythm in each one and really get an idea of which one of these pieces of software works best for your style and your workflow. And don't worry about what other people say is best for you. Just concentrate on which one you think works best for you by trying them out. Because when you get that good feeling about the program, you're going to want to get more into it and find out all of the little features with it. And this is going to lead to you creating great music. And once you narrow it down to that one DAW that you're going to use, stick with it. Become a master at that one DAW. Find out all its little features. And the more familiar you become with that program, you're not going to be needing to figure out how to do certain things. The music is just going to flow naturally. Every program's going to have a bit of a learning curve. Just don't get discouraged. Stick with it, play around with some of the features so you can become really familiar with the program. You've got that passion to create music in you. Don't give up on it. Now, here are my top three free DAW picks from this list. And the first two were really easy for me. They are Traction Waveform Free and Cakewalk by BandLab. Now my third pick would be Reaper, but I feel bad calling it a free DAW. So my third pick's going to be SoundBridge. And that's because it's a completely unlimited DAW. It allows you to record as many tracks as you want and you can bring in third-party VST plugins. And remember, these are just my three picks. They may not be the best ones for you. So choose whichever ones you think are going to be best for you. Now, if you want to check out some of the best free VST plugins available, click the video on the screen right now. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane, keep creating, and we'll talk soon.